Hello all. Uh, been a while. I uh, figured I'd just do a little bit of an update to uh, talk about some of what I've been working on. Uh, largely, I've got a new switcher and the ability to do some pretty cool stuff that will be used for shows. Uh, I'm using the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, and uh, this is just a funny way to do it to show for demonstration purposes. I'll be using the, uh, as you see here, this is um, Parker Weston versus Clown Doll video that I edited for uh, Operation Noise Tester. I don't know what it's been now, two and, a half, two and a half years ago, a year and a half ago, I don't know what it is. I've totally lost track of time. Uh, then and it will play a bit, which is good. All right, boom. There we go. There's our fun background video going. And then we have a couple of keys that are going to go over this. Uh, one of them is using a Raspberry Pi, a bit of software called Playout B, and it's a Luma key, so the whole thing is designed in black and white, and with an inverse key, anything that is white uh, shows through, anything that's black blocks the background, uh, and that is the first key. So each key in succession goes on top of the next, so we will turn that one on. Just jump into the other one as well while those things play in the background. <laughs> Look at this back to shadow. No, it's the wrong one. Okay. Anyway, so these are all a bunch of uh, motion graphics keys that we're working on using a combination of. Uh, Sorry, using a combination of um, LumaFusion on the iPad and uh, Keynote, which is your presentation style software. That Keynote is actually quite powerful. There we go. Boom. This one's just a simple test. For alignment and stuff. And for timing. Easy peasy stuff. background shattering, which is fun. And yes, we do everything on a base boss system, and I still work for base boss, so I am uh, developing some motion graphics for them as well. Some lower third action there. Boom. A nice one in the center. Ah, you can see the edges. Screen that too, huh? <laughs> the green screen's the last thing I've done, so I'm still working out the details on that. <clears throat> it's not perfect yet, for sure. But the motion graphics have been coming out really good. There we go. Hey, it's my title. Wonderful, it's amazing. Wow. Um, there we go. It's a compromise between my left ear going weird, of there being a little glitch in the middle of the screen. I need some better lighting on the green screen. But I'm still figuring it out. Fun stuff, huh? Ah, uh, yes, one of the crumble ones. I ended up having to take uh, and render this uh, 12 times in order to get that to work. So each one of those sections was rendered down and then flipped around. And this is fun, just working with dimensionality and 
And then here's the one. This one I had to get a new CF card for. The Hyper Deck, which works with the ATEM. Actually, this took up too much power, and so I had to get faster. Now back push cards so it wouldn't stutter. Uh, boom. Hey, look at that. Look at the man. I love that effect. There's a guy coming in, just assembling. Hey, I'm looking around, and this is a good place. There's some cool shit here. Yeah, I like it. <coughs> oh no, it's all black. Hey, it's me times three. Uh, same one with this nice crumble effect going out side to side at the end. Just learning how to like really push the capabilities of this. And again, this is all IKEA. I will be learning motion next to really kind of up the game for motion graphics stuff that we can use in live shows and everything else. That's a fun one. That was all one thing too. The one operation is this for one. I have been here for now. I will be adding a bunch of more of those as well. Uh, those can actually be done. Now, during the show, uh, it doesn't have to be done in post. Oh, and then the pan logo. I love this logo, regardless of what happened with the whole productions thing. So, we had some fun with this. This is basically, this is basic use. It's like a whole one-off. Everything is the, like, unit moving around. But then, of course, I thought, oh, I, can, I can break the whole thing up. Go. So every little piece here is separate. So let's see if let's use some nifty little animation stuff. Good job, doll. Pop those in. Yeah, this is fun. Lots of little tweaks and fun. Really pushing what you know can do there. All right, let's start reversing the whole thing. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, flip around. Good job. Back to the original logo. Oh, oh, what is it? Yeah. Nice. Blew that one out of the way. And my OG symbol, which is uh, the theory of everything. So that's about, I think we're getting close to the end here. Yep. That's some fun times. Now I'm going to step a little lower third with my binary casting there. And we are basically done. Yep. Thank you for watching. Just a little teaser on things I've been doing. We, uh, we're gonna come back to doing shows in, um, uh, October, but with the Delta variant, anything that's gonna happen, so, we'll see, but, uh, this is what I'm building up to. I've also got a brand new soundboard, it's, uh, Midas M32 full digital console and, uh, Snake, so, that's, it's gonna be cool when we're ready to go again. Alright, everybody, see you later.